Good morning, students. Do you remember our story, the mysterious picture? We have taken a whole page. Who was our main character? Hmm? Till Till was our main character. And where have we reached? Yeah, I'll give you a brief summary. We had our Till coming on his donkey to where to meet the Archduke. So he reached there, and at the entrance there was who? The captain. The captain told what? We don't permit lawfers to enter. Lawfers means a loser. So, and the captain also body shamed him by saying, you look like a skeleton. Then what happened? Till asked him, can you give me a chord? Means a piece of thread from your uniform, a golden thread, so that I can go buy some mutton and have it. Then we stop there. Okay? So I'll continue the chapter. First I'll read the portion, then we'll explain it. Shall we go to the chapter? From Flanders, reply till, what do you want? I should like to show His Highness, the Archduke, one of my paintings. I am a painter. Well, if you are a painter and if you come from Flanders, you may come in, said the captain, somewhat impressed. The captain knew that Flemish painters and their pictures were in great demand all over Europe. Till was presented to the Archduke. He saluted the Archduke three times and stood before him with his head bowed. May your highness pardon me for my rashness in thinking that one of my paintings will please your highness. I have brought a picture of Our Lady the Virgin in her royal robes. So, I'll explain what we have read so far. Here, last day, I told you that the captain asked Till, where are you coming from? Now, here he is answering to that question. Till says, I am from Flanders. Flanders is a place, a low range of place near France. So, he is coming from Flanders. And now captain asks, what do you want? So, he is saying, Till is saying, I should like to show His Highness the Archduke, one of my paintings. I am a painter. So, he want to meet the Highness, that means the king, to show his painting. He is a painter basically. So, now after he says that, the captain says, Well, if you are a painter and if you come from Flanders, you may come in, said the captain, somewhat impressed. So, now the captain is impressed because he, Till is a painter from Flanders. And the painters from there are very famous all over Europe. So, captain gives him permission to come inside and meet the highness. Till was presented to the archduke. He saluted the archduke three times and stood before him with his head bowed. So, now the captain took Till in front of the archduke. And he bowed three times in front of the archduke. That shows the respect for the his highness. May your highness pardon me for my rashness in thinking that one of my paintings will please your highness. Here we have a new word which is rashness and it means hurried manner. So he is saying that please pardon me. Pardon me means forgive me. Forgive me if I had behaved in a hurried manner and if I have thought that my paintings will please you. Please you means make you happy. So Till is saying if you think that I behaved very badly and if you think that I behaved very hurriedly thinking that you will love my painting, please forgive me. That is what Till told the Highness. I have bought a picture of Our Lady the Virgin in her royal robes. So, he brought the picture of their princess. Her, she is standing in her robes. That means her costume which she wears at the kingdom. So, her name is Virgin. So, this is the picture of their queen. And he brought that to keep that at the feet of the highness. I have painted it specially so that I might lay it at your noble feet. Till paused a few moments for his words to sing it. Then he continued. You must forgive me, Your Highness, if I have dared to hope that this picture will please you. So once again, he is saying the, saying the same thing. He says that, uh, please forgive me if I thought that you will love this picture. Perhaps Your Highness might wish to offer me the chair of your court painter who died recently. So what do you understand now? 
still was a cunning man. What was his intention? He won the chair of the court painter. That means there will be a painter appointed in every kingdom. And he will be painting everything related to that kingdom. So here the chair for the painter is empty. Nobody is there. So he wants to fill that chair. That is why he came here and brought the picture of Queen Virgin. So here he is saying, I can see the empty velvet chair waiting to be filled. The Virgin's picture was a splendid painting and the Archduke made up his mind at once. So he saw till saw that chair, that empty velvet chair for the court painter. And he wants to sit there. That means he wants to be the coat painter. That is why he brought this picture. So we have here a new word which is splendid. The meaning of splendid is very attractive. So here he brought the very attractive splendid picture of their queen virgin to persuade his highness to give him the chair of the painter, the coat painter. So here the highness made up his mind. He embraced and kissed him on both cheeks. He said, I shall be delighted to make you my court painter. Now, Highness is very happy and he kissed till on both the cheeks. And he says, I am very happy to make you my court painter. He directed him to the chair and made him sit on it. Well, my dear fellow, he said, you do have a tongue in your head and you certainly seem to know how to use it. Now, Highness took Till to that chair and he made him sit there. And he says, you have a tongue on your head and you know how to use it. What is the meaning of that? It means he knew how to use his words and his action to earn a living. His brain speaks. That is the meaning of to have tongue on your head. And he says, you are very talkative fellow, aren't you? Highness is asking, you are very talkative. You are a person who talks very well, aren't you? So what have we taken now? I will give you a brief once again. Once the till reached the entrance, the captain asked him, you can't enter, you have to stay back, who are you? And he body shamed him by saying, you look like a skeleton. And then Till asked him, can you give me a golden cord from your uniform so that I can go to the market, I can buy some mutton and have it. Then he asked, where are you from? That was the first portion. And the second portion was, he says he is from Flanders. And he says he brought a painting, he is a painter. He brought the painting of Virgin. That means the queen of their country. He brought that to show that to his highness. That is the duke. He bowed to the, His Highness. He gave this painting to the, His Highness. He kept that on the feet of the, His Highness. And he said, what, what did he say? Please forgive me if I am behaving very hurriedly. I brought this to show you and I hope you would like this. Why did Till do all this? Because he wanted that chair. The chair which was left behind. That is the court painter's chair. So he saw that, he kept his eyes on that and for that he brought this painting. So that is where we reached. And finally what Highness brought him, he made him sit in that chair, he kissed his both cheeks and told him, you are our coat painter today onwards. Shall we see after that what happened? Yes, we can look that. You Highness, may it please you to remember me and my donkey Jeff for just one more minute. Till replied, my donkey has been feeding himself fairly well all along the way on the thorns in the hedges and the grass on the roadside. But I have had nothing to eat for the past three days. My stomach has been complaining very loudly. Perhaps your highness can even hear it now. I have been feeding myself with dreams of good food and drink at your royal table. So that is the next paragraph. Your Highness, may it please you to remember me and my donkey Jeff for just one more minute. Till replied. So Till is saying, you please remember about me and my donkey Jeff. Jeff is the name of his donkey. Please remember about us. 
my donkey has been feeding himself fairly well all along the way on the thorns in the hedges and the grass on the roadside so while they were coming his donkey was having some grass hedges means bushes so his donkey was feeding himself he was eating everything he saw but what what happened till was not having food but i have had nothing to eat for the past 3 days my stomach has been complaining very loudly so past 3 days he was traveling and he had nothing to eat now his stomach has started complaining perhaps your highness can even hear it now i have been feeding myself with dreams of good food and drink at your royal table so he says i have been dreaming about good food and drink at your table but i have had nothing only the dreams nothing other than that so this paragraph says what here uh, our till our main character is trying to make the highness remember about his donkey and his condition they have been starving at least his donkey has had some food while coming like the grasses and the bushes but what about till he had nothing he hadn't fed him anything for the past 3 days that is what goes in this paragraph next we can see what would be the highness reply we can see that in the next paragraph okay the archduke smiled and said well my dear fellow you will certainly have something more solid than dreams to feed on but where is your donkey i left him outside opposite the palace i shall be most grateful if jeffes looked after he needs a little fodder and lodging at night said till so now highness is asking him okay i can help you i'll give you food but where is your donkey the archduke smiled and said well my dear fellow you will certainly have something more solid than dreams to feed on highness says you will have something more that means you will get food good food you don't have to dream about food we'll give you that but where is your donkey so highness is asking where is your donkey i didn't see him until replaced i left him outside opposite the palace i shall be most grateful if jeffes looked after he says he's outside the palace i left him there if you are looking him after very well i'll be very happy for that he needs a little fodder and lodging at night that means he says his donkey needs a little fodder a place where he can feed him and a lodging that means a room to stay that means a shed for the donkey so that is all the donkey needs now i'll give you the brief of this paragraph here highness is saying what's your problem and till is replying we need food i want my donkey a place to stay i want him to get some food i want myself some food i'm feeding on dreams and the highness is offering him everything he is asking the food and the lodging for the donkey and everything the archduke immediately ordered the donkey to be taken care of and he added treated like one of my own animals so what is the highness saying he said where is the donkey bring him here and treat it like my own animals every kingdom has some animals right there will be horses donkeys elephants many animals so the highness want tills donkey to be treated as his own donkey his own animal so he orders for that now where have we reached the highness has ordered to bring the donkey in and look after him as his own but you didn't see the donkey coming in right we didn't see the donkey coming in we don't know how the donkey looks like here we don't know how the till has looked after him we don't know anything about him let's see it in the next class next class we'll read the next paragraph and we'll know more about till's donkey so thank you for listening students and read the portion again